Hi, this is Ted Rackley from Muse Research, and I'm going to show you how Uniwire works on the receptor. This is the receptor here. It's a hardware synthesizer and effects processor that you load virtual instrument and effects plugins into. You can control all the plugins and all the parameters from the front panel. There's inputs and outputs and, uh, for MIDI and audio on the back of the unit. But what we're showing at the show this time is our new Uniwire technology. And Uniwire is a way for us to send video, MIDI, and audio over Ethernet. So let me show you how it works. I've got Cubase open right here, and I've got four MIDI tracks inside of Cubase. Um, on the first MIDI track here, I've got the, the B4 from Native Instruments. On the next MIDI track, I've got Sonic Synth 2 from IK Multimedia. The next track, I've got Stylus from Spectrosonics. And the next MIDI track, I've got an acoustic bass playing within Trilogy from Spectrosonics. Now, I'm going to play a little MIDI sequence that I've composed here, and I want you to merely make note of the CPU performance meter between when I'm playing and when I stop. So here we go. You'll see here the CPU is about eh, 5%, and when I stop, it's still around 5% or so. The reason being is none of these plugins are actually installed inside of this laptop. The plugins are installed inside of the receptor, and we're communicating with them via our Uniwire VST plugins. So here's how it works. I'll trace the MIDI signal flow with you. The MIDI track goes to the virtual instrument plugin, and I'll open up the plugin so you can take a look at it. And our plugin really isn't a virtual instrument. It's a network interface to the receptor. So MIDI goes into the receptor uh, over Ethernet. We have an Ethernet cable plugged in. And there's the Trilogy plugin that I'm playing. So I can look at the graphics over that Ethernet cable as well. The Trilogy makes the sound, and then the audio passes out of the plugin and then into my audio mixer. So that's why you see audio metering right here. And this plugin, since it's a network interface, receptor is a 16-channel device. I can have each one of the channels of the receptor be addressed by MIDI, right? So I basically have a 73-port MIDI interface, and each port of MIDI carries 16 channels. Okay? Plus. The receptor is a 16-channel device, so I have 16 stereo channels of audio or 32 mono channels of audio passing over Ethernet back into the computer. And that's why everything is showing up right here on my audio mixer. Now, I have an instrument version of the plugin, but I also have an effects version of the plugin. So if I open up this audio channel here, you see right here I have a Uniwire effects version, which is different from the Uniwire instrument versions. So if I take a look at that plugin, the plugin looks very similar, but I want you to make note that I have an Ethernet switch attached as well. I don't know if you guys can see this here. And we have every receptor in our booth attached to this Ethernet switch. So we have three receptors going at once. And I've got a pop-up menu that'll let me talk to the different receptors that I want to talk to. So in this case, I'm going to talk to this receptor over here, which you can see has stylus installed on it. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my remote control utility, and you'll see that on my Mac or Windows computer, I can look at the graphics that are in a receptor that's somewhere else. So the receptors can be in a machine room somewhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Uniwire on channel 16 of this receptor. And this is really amazing because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw my voice. I'm going to play Trilogy inside of this receptor here, but I'm going to run it through an effects version of the Uniwire plugin that is sending audio over to this receptor because instrument plugins receive MIDI, effects plugins receive audio. So here's how this is going to work. Let me turn it up here so you can hear it. So this trilogy is inside of this receptor. It's going audio over Ethernet and playing out of the physical outputs of this receptor on a different set of speakers. So I can send audio anywhere over the network. Okay? And that's our Uniwire technology. Pretty amazing stuff. I can't even believe it works. Right now, it's available as a public beta to anybody who owns a receptor for free. There's no charge for Uniwire if you own a receptor. It's available VST, Mac, and Windows today. Coming soon, audio unit and RTAS. So it doesn't matter what sequence you use, Digital Performer, Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Sonar, Ableton Live. doesn't matter. We're going to support everybody's plug-in format, and it really makes the receptor, the ultimate DSP accelerator. There's other DSP accelerators on the market, but they usually only run their own plugins. We don't make any plugins of our own. We run plugins from Native Instruments, Ev Expansion, BFD, IK Multimedia, 
East, West, all the favorite stuff that you guys like to use. That's Unwire. Thank you very much. Have fun.